hey, buddy. Do you want to ride here? Here, come into the side. Uh, wait, what are you doing? Why are you standing in front of the bus? You're supposed to enter in. I opened the door specifically for you to go in. Yes, friend. Go ahead. Come over here. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just come to the side. Max will call him or something. Do something. You know what? Uh-oh. Uh, hold on. Reload. <laughs> come on, buddy. Uh, see, you could have just rode with me, but you chose to challenge the bus. By the way, welcome back to the long drive, where today we're going to be doing a bit of an engine swap. So I asked you guys from the last episode, uh, do you think that we're going to be able to make it up this giant? Oh, no, I lost my magazine. I just dropped it. As I was saying before I dropped my magazine over here. Uh, oh, I think it's fine. It's right here. We're going to be heading up to, I believe it's that mountain there. Watch the road just turn completely left and I'm going to be fine. But I think I'm heading up to that snowy mountain and I don't think I'm going to. What is that in the sky? What the? Hold on. What is that? Wait, where is? Why can I see it right there? Okay, straight up. There is an item in the sky that I can't see in my binoculars. Editor, zoom in right. Uh, there's like a daughter. It looks like a building up in the sky. Oh, there it is. Is that? That's a piece of cacti. Why does that piece of cacti look so large? Um, we have found the great cactus in the sky. Anyways, uh, like I was saying, I think I'm going to do an engine swap. I'm still looking for the motorcycle, not this little rinky dinky one, but the other one. And we're going to continue to build up on the top of our... Is that a sandstorm chasing us? Um, we might need to get moving. All right, let's uh, let's go check this out real quick. Okay, there's not really much in here. Uh, there is blue, and I had a lot of people say they want the bus to be blue. A lot of people did like the green, uh, which I agree. The green is actually kind of nice. But you know what? Let's, uh, let's mix it up here. Let's go with this blue. I'm kind of curious about it. Uh, it's kind of a nice color. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit brighter. Uh, yeah, we better get moving. <laughs> I think it's getting close. Uh, should I do the engine swap now? I, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it real quick. Uh, it, it'll be pretty quick. All right, I got the engine in the back. Uh, I got some diesel ready to go. That's all we got to do is just put the engine in. Oh, I need to make sure there's oil in this thing. Uh, hold on. Put that down. I don't think I have to put a mixture into this. Uh, let's get our oil. Okay, I don't have enough to fill it. Uh, I got it about half full of oil. Oh, my goodness. We got to get moving here. Uh, do I need to be on... I think I need to be on this side. That is definitely getting closer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's been a while since we've been chased by one of those. All right. Uh, this engine needs to come out. We're just going to put no collisions on, and we're just going to stick it on the inside. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me get the turbo off real quick. I'm sure we'll use that. I'm just curious. Uh, I didn't get a definitive answer. Like, there was a lot of different answers about should I switch to this uh, bus uh, motor. Hold on, throw that in there. Is that good? Yeah, a lot of people did think it was a good idea that it would be able to tow up mountains a little bit better. Might not necessarily be the fastest uh, when it comes to the top speed, but we're going to figure that out. I think if you strap a turbo to this or a couple, that'd be great. Also, I'm moving so freaking slow right now. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, that does look like it's getting closer. Come on. <laughs> we'll get there in like 20 hours. Uh, by the way, you guys can hit the thumbs up button for some more long drive. Okay, this will just go under here. Uh, waiting for the mount. Okay, mount. There we go. Uh, and then mount turbocharger there. All right, let me replace the fuel and we should be good to go. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of noise. Is that the sound of the sandstorm? Oh my goodness! Uh, here, no, grab this. Gra I need to hurry up and drain this tank. Okay, drain. Uh, drain, 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 drain. Whatever I'm doing. Am I draining it into this? I don't even think I'm draining it. In it doesn't even matter. Hold on, get it over there. There we go. Uh, I should have been able to stick that in there. Okay, uh, take that out. Alright, uh, hold on. Put this back in the, in, the, in the bus. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's getting huge! Okay, we gotta go. I'm hearing like, it sounds like wind noise. Uh, heading this way. Uh, I hope this thing cranks. If it doesn't crank, we are screwed. Okay, we're filled. Oh my goodness, it's getting big. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, crank it, crank it. Oh, it's running. Uh, no, uh, close all. There you go, close the doors. Oh, okay. This seems to have taken off actually quite well. It doesn't have that wheel spin. Maybe this is just a good normal vehicle. I need to put a little bit more oil into the engine. My goodness. That is an aggressive sandstorm. It is, it's definitely gotten a lot larger. Okay. Uh, I think we just escaped in the nick of time. Watch that thing's gonna be following us the whole episode. That'd be something. Also, you can hear the turbo spooling up. All right, let's see. Wait, does the road really go to the left? I, I still feel like it's gonna cut and go up that mountain. I don't know. There's a junkyard coming up too. We actually spotted this junkyard at the end of the last episode. Uh, let's try to get there real quick and see if we can find anything good. 
All right, I think we're just out ahead. It actually is on the road that we were on. I think it is moving up towards us, but I think it also is moving a little to the right. So I think, I hope we're safe for the rest of the episode. Uh, it does feel like we're finally getting away from it. There's a junkyard. Okay, what does the road do here? Do we actually go up a mountain? Uh, I see it to... Oh, it does wind up a mountain. Does it go quite up to the tall snowy cap one? But it goes to the one in front of us. Uh, we might stop by this junkyard. Whew. Yeah, we haven't run into like an actual sandstorm in a long time. Like one that's actually hit us. Uh, it was one of those things where, you know, it was implemented into the game. Uh, I found one. I drove into it. I don't need to drive into them anymore. It actually wrecks your, uh, your whole series. Like that would probably kill us. I don't know. Maybe in the bus it's heavy enough to stay on the ground. Uh, but other items do not. So yeah, we're gonna stop off here real quick. I want to see if maybe by chance they have a bike over here. I've been looking for a motorcycle. Uh, road's right to the right. Uh, Joe's junk. You think Joe's got friends here? There is potential that they do. We're just gonna park out here. Hello. Uh, all right, let's go see what's inside. Ooh, I do hear a mute. Oh, he's actually walking around the junkyard. Hold on, is there mult? Okay, there's multiple. Wait, he's. Did he just open up the fridge? What are they actually going in there and like searching for food? Okay, and oh, there we go. That one's taken out. Han, let's wait for his buddy. Hello. Oh, it's creepy because it's dark in here. Hello, I saw you walking around here. Where'd you go? Oh, there he is. Okay, I'm gonna get right up to you here, buddy. Ooh, I wasted way too much ammo there. Ah, it's fine. Okay, what do you got in here? Door parts, bumpers, uh, random junk. Uh, ooh, some side paneling. I don't wonder if I could use that. There's, uh, that's the diesel motor. Uh, I wonder what the power stats are compared to, like, the bus there. Okay, some radiators. I actually got a good radiator in the, uh, in the bus itself. Uh, not really great. Not what I was looking for. I was hoping maybe for a bike around here. You guys got a bike around side of it? Uh, some tires. They look like they're in terrible shape. Hold on, what's this? Alcohol. Uh, oil. I mean, that's decent. Hold on, let's, let's break this open. We'll just chunk our light at it. It's fine. Uh, wait. Is this... Uh, okay, this might be the bike motor I'm, I'm wanting. So there's a small bike motor that's attached to the one that's on the back, and then there's this thing. Uh, okay, well, I mean, you could say that we did find a piece for our junkyard bike. Uh, let's go inside real quick. Are we safe to sleep here? Is that still... I can't really tell. Like, wait, hold on, is that dissipating? Wait, is it really dying right in front of our eyes? Oh, all right, well, I think we're okay. I think the sandstorm just died right in front of us. Nice. All right, let's go inside and see what they have. Uh, he was searching for something up here. Oh, he was going to eat this little cookie. Uh, you know, it's fine. I can eat this. Hold on, I got to make some room real quick. There we go. Uh, we just ate the cookie. Uh, I need a little bit of water. I guess I can grab some in the uh, the car. Well, you know, I think I'm just going to sleep here for the night. Uh, you can see the moon coming up. We'll get back on the road in the morning and uh, see what else we can find. So it's the next morning, and you know what? I completely lied. The sandstorm didn't dissipate. It also looks like it's getting big again. Dude, these things don't slowly track the player, do they? <laughs> like... <laughs> It's kind of creepy. All right, close the doors. All right, Maxwell's. <gasps> oh, you know what? I completely forgot there's a Maxwell on the roof from the end of the last episode. I wanted to try the bed out. Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. There was a pallet at the last stop. I didn't grab the wood pallet. Oh, is there any in this one? <gasps> Wait a minute. Did I? Okay, hold on. Did I really just spot what I thought I just spotted? Is that? Hold on. What the heck? There's a motorcycle back here. Oh my goodness, how did I not see this? All right, turn collisions off. Oh my goodness, why is this so heavy? This this isn't heavier than a freaking bus motor. Wait, why does it seem stuck? Okay, collisions are off, hold on, collisions on? What the heck? I know you're not that, why can I push you? Hold on, let's just push it out. Uh, okay, well this will work. Um, yeah, this is something that I didn't think was gonna be at this stop. We found the motor. I was looking for the bike itself, but I mean, here we go. I got wheels. I got an engine. I mean, I should have what I need. I think this might run off like a, uh, is it like two stroke? I don't know. Is it like where I need oil and fuel? Okay. I do not remember this thing being so freaking heavy. Like I can, I can kick it, but I can't pick it up. Like I can pick up a bus motor, which is arguably bigger. Okay. Just kick it out there. I mean, this is one way to do it, I guess. I was hoping to just stick it to the side. You know, I think I need to put wheels on it. All right, well, I guess we're going to build this thing uh, right now. Okay, I got to get this thing that was originally... Oh, my goodness, it is clipped into the side. I, I need your, your wheel. Uh, here, I'll just take this. Hopefully, that just flies off here in a second. 
All right, mount that right there. We have a junkyard bike going on. All right, let's go grab a fuel tank in the engine. I've got several fuel tanks. Uh, here's the engine for it. Okay, mount that in there. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think I have a blue fuel tank, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this thing is just like stuck in the back. I'm hoping that it pops out here in a second. Uh, here we go. Blue fuel tank. Is there fuel in here? No, it's empty. Um, okay. I'm gonna try to... Oh my goodness. I'm watching the bus rock because of the, uh, the motorcycle that's stuck in it. How else will we put the motorcycle on it? Like, I want to attach it to, uh, said thing here. Alright. Uh, that's good. Here, pick it up. Ooh, stand it up here. There we go. Alright. Well, uh, we have a junkyard bike. It's a thing. Okay, we've got fuel in here. I just want to make sure... Do I need... Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm pretty sure I do need oil in this thing. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it wants to crank at all. Okay. All right, now I know. Oh, is it about to rain on me too? My goodness, the weather's just after me today. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, the buddy just tipped over my stupid thing. He tipped over my motorcycle. No, what are you doing? Jeez, you've got to be kidding. I'm going to lose the fuel of my motorcycle. Yep, it is pouring out all over the floor. you got to be kidding me. Stupid bunny. Okay, I think my percentage might be a little off. Let's see if it cranks at least. Huh? Oh, -ho -ho! there we go. Look at that. She runs. Uh, our junkyard bike is officially here. Um, how are we going to stick this to the side of it? I almost wish I could build like a ramp or something to stick it on. Okay, hold on. Let's just give a little test here. Oh, uh, yeah. It's been a while since I've rode one of these. You know, this is probably one of those moments where it's like I could really die doing this. Probably not a great idea, but I mean, it's nice to have an extra vehicle that I can attach to my vehicle. Yeah, look at us here. <laughs> Got ourselves a nice little bike. Uh, we just need to get a little basket on here and Maxwell can ride. Oh, look, that also popped off. Nice. All right, kill the motor. Um, I got to figure out how I want to get this up on the uh, on the actual bus here. I could grab this part and maybe stick it like this, and it acts more like a rack opposed to like being directly. So uh, here's my issue. When I attached this thing, it was really awkward, but I feel like if I attach it to like a rack that's poking out, it won't be near as bad on collisions on. So here, let me try to stick this out. Uh, the only problem I see is, am I gonna be able to get the bike up on this? I might could build a ramp. Uh, all right, let's attach that. Oh my God, why would you attach like this? Ugh. Okay, it's kind of stupid, it's fine. Yeah, officially don't think that's gonna work, so I need to find a way to attach this. My goodness, why is this so freaking heavy? I get that bikes are heavy in real life, but if I can pick up a bus motor, I should be able to pick up this bike. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 there we go. No, my goodness. Can I just, I don't know, attach it via pole or uh, maybe like a strap and just drag the thing? Like, that sounds like a better solution at the moment. Hold on, maybe I can just roll it like this. All right, so we'll get it up. Oh my goodness, this kickstand must be down. Three hours later. So I finally got the uh, the bike attached, guys. It looks, it looks great. <laughs> Okay, I need a solution for that. Do we build a ramp? What do we build to get the bike on there securely? Can I even drive now? I mean, I'm super happy we we, uh, we found it, but this journey needs to continue. I'm just hoping that that bike's not going to be... Well, it looks like it's going to be fine. I mean, it doesn't look fine at all, but... <laughs> Uh, it'll be okay. We need to get back on the road here. As you can see, the road does go up the mountain. I think that's a bus depot up there. That'd be a good time to see if I need any tires. Uh, wait, look! It's acting like a wheel. It's rolling. So when it touches the ground, it just rolls. It doesn't even, like, impede the bus at all. All right, well, let's get moving. You've got to be kidding me. Is that really going to be a thing now? Hold up. Hold the phone. We got to make a decision here. Okay, I got to fix this bike. I'm trying to shove it inside. of the. If I die doing this, I swear I'm going to be angry. <gasps> got it. Okay, I think we're good now. So I think the bike finally... What? Wait. What is that a thing? You know, I think all of my... What is up with today's episode? We get chased by a sandstorm. I find the bike, which that's a good thing. This is the first time I think I've ever noticed a UFO just flying in the sky. Is it slowing down? No, it's it's still just doing its thing. You know, every time I see them, they're on the road. I, I don't think I ever see them in, actually in the sky like that. Interesting. All right, well, uh, our little alien buddies are up really high. Normally, they're on the road and they shut off my vehicle. That's kind of creepy, actually. It's going to look really cool here in a second because it's turning night. But yeah, we got the bus, I mean, the bike shoved in there. Uh, I think it was causing my vehicle to flip. It was hitting the bottom and just flipping it over. So uh, I think we're going to be good here. 
All right, can we please get back on? I'm just going to drive. Like, I was going to sleep, but you know what? what? I feel like we're a little behind. There's been just a lot of things happening this episode. We need to get up on that mountain. I'm hearing a very annoying noise. Uh, editor, will you please uh, amplify the gameplay noise for a second? It sounds like one of my tires is just screeching. What's that? Is that coming from the bike? Maybe we take the wheels off the bike. There's a chance we just take the wheels off and just set them to the side. And then if we need to deploy the bike, we deploy the bike that way. Because I'm pretty sure that's the bike wheels making that noise. I could be wrong, though. Maybe we're just bottoming out or something. Uh, I can't tell. There's that sandstorm again. I feel like it's been, like, sneaking up on us all episode. By the way, we are coming up to what appears to be a bus depot. I'm going to take a quick look in there. But if there's nothing in there that I really want, my tires seem good. I might grab a spare, uh, top off with some fuel, but... Uh, I'm not going to stick around here too long. I need to get up this hill. Uh, we actually start using the road here. Oh, my goodness, that AI car just flipped. Oh, it's barrel rolling. Oh, it hit the little, like, berm right here. That's a very unfortunate spawn for you, isn't it? Uh, can we see? I can hear mutants. I don't actually see a bus. Uh, there's probably supplies over there. All right, I'm going to go take care of this. And then we're going to continue our journey. All right, we're back on the road once again. I moved the uh, the bike around a bit. Its wheel keeps going through the back of the bus, and you'll hear that screeching noise. Haven't heard it in a good bit. I probably could just take the wheels off. Uh, anyways, uh, we got a little bit of fuel here. We're good to go. Uh, we're pretty set. Uh, we're going to conquer this mountain. Han, does, do we see the road actually on that? No, it, it kind of cuts to the left here, goes up over this one. We might have dodged the big boy to the right. The big boy to the right, I was a little concerned by that. But I must say the bus motor does seem to be getting up no problem. It's not like super fast, but it's not bogging down and just stopping, uh, which is pretty good. So, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with the engine swap. I would like to find some more parts to put up on top of the uh, the bus, though. I was debating on putting more wood pallets, but I might swap it up and try to put, like, boards or something along the side. Or I thought about enclosing the back of it, leaving the front open, because we're still looking for a technical uh, machine gun. But maybe enclosing the back, almost like a bedroom, like an extra one up there. By the way, if you're wanting a Maxwell update, the one that was on the, uh, the roof, that was on the bed it's now moved all the way to the front uh they're just garden it's like a little maxwell watchtower by the way we're coming up to a plane crash you know i think i'm a genius you know what i'm thinking of what if i were to create say like the back door uh say that's not gonna be a normal door anymore i wonder if i could load the bike up almost like on a ramp in there and then maybe stick something in front of it that way it pins it that way when i'm ready to deploy the bike i can remove the front end of it and it'll roll off outside of the uh, outside of the bus and then we could use a ramp to get back into the bus like i'm trying to think of how that would work in my head but that would be genius because i think it's a pain in the rear end to move uh back and forth i don't know what do you guys think I think that might be a good thing. Also, I spot lunch. There's a plane crash over here, and they like to keep a lot of food up in there. So I think we're going to stop over there and grab some food and uh, maybe scout around and see what's around us right now. Uh, but we've made some decent progress this episode. Like, I try to fit in about three to four days each episode because I think if I were to skip around in this series, you guys would be like, oh my goodness, he, he totally skipped to day 100. So I try to show at least a little bit of every day uh, so you guys can so kind of see the progression here, which I'm super proud of that so it's a little bit more like that let's play style opposed to like oh okay let me just have like this one objective and let me skip around until the objective is met at the end of the episode uh so it's kind of like a little bit different style of filming for me yo that's a pretty sweet looking tow truck you got there look look how far we made it away from that sandstorm it is just really far off in the distance uh, also it looks like everybody's having oh he's overheating going up the hill look at us in our bus we are having zero issues it's just kind of slow but it's uh it's just it takes a moment it, it's fine i am curious as to what's over this hill though like we're gonna see our next set of terrain i think and we'll see what obstacles we're gonna run into you know since we're at the snowy mountains and it looks like it's clouding up do you think we'll actually see snow that is a thing in the simple weather mod uh it's snow and then you have the rain i think there's fog too but i've yet to see the fog somebody did say they saw it and said it was pretty amazing because like the visibility sucked uh, it kind of created a really cool atmosphere, though. All right. Uh, what do you say we uh, check this out real quick? Let's see what's in here. Hopefully some food. Look at around. There's... Oh, man. Look at that on the side of the mountain. There's a freaking junkyard up there. That is, like, so far away, though. That's a really big mountain, by the way. Uh, okay. Can I get into this? This one looks to be buried a little bit different. I don't know if I can crawl in here. Can I? Okay. It's a little tight, but, yeah, we could squeeze into here. No mutants. Uh, -huh, but we do have uh, a baguette. Hold uh on. -huh, I got to there we go. Oh, I was actually really hungry. 
Uh, let's go check it. Wait, that's the first time I've seen a skeleton in one of these. That's actually kind of funny. I mean, kind of sad too, but yeah, it, it, can we get an F in the chat for the skeleton? Uh, I got some containers. Oh, I got some sausage up in here. Let's go and eat some of that. There we go. Uh, I had to s fulfill my hunger needs. Hello, here, we're just gonna pet you. We're gonna call you, uh, your name is Joe. Uh, you guys got some soda or something back here? What you got? Uh, Maxwell? Is that a box of tur- That is a box of turds. Okay, well, I don't need that, huh? We'll just go out the rear of the plane. We're like a, a turd to the rear of the plane there. Okay, let me get up on the hill here. Uh, wait, what is that? Uh, oh, no, wrong thing. Oh, oh, it's a tower stop. You just see the back side of it. Okay, let me try to climb over this hill and let's see what we're facing uh, for our next episode. You know, by my calculations, I think we'll be at episode day 100 next week, I think. If I survive, if everything goes well, like, I, I seriously think that's going to be next week. I'm pretty sure. I will make sure it is. I'll make an extra long episode if I have to, just to get to day 100. I need to double check with my editor. I get a little lost about our days. I know roughly where we are, but I'm not sure the exact day. I should probably uh, start to keep track with that beside me. By the way, this kind of just slowly sloped up i feel like this is the new land uh seeing a couple stops nothing like really near the road at the moment but feel like we made good progress didn't really get to build much onto the bus this episode hopefully we'll get to focus on that we just had so many different things going on we found our motorcycle we had some odd things happen sandstorm chased us which you know it might still be following us i don't know it hasn't disappeared it now looks like it's up in the sky heading this way ah it'll be fine also i really would love if the road would go to the top of that mountain that thing is absolutely tall over there but let me know what you guys think and we'll see you guys next time in the long drive